Okay, I'm gonna have to do a layer or voice layer on this because I can uh, do this again. I forgot to turn my mic on. Uh, still getting used to this new camera. Well, we'll get there some one day. We'll get we'll get it right. But I already took down uh the one a couple of little pieces I had had a couple of the uh, actual holders screwed in there just to see what it looked like. Move the ladder out there. I ha I went upstairs in the attic of the garage there to get a piece of wood. Roughly about uh, 20 minutes into this, it's only a 22 and a half minute video, but like 20 minutes into it, I finally figured out that I didn't have the mic on, and we go that route. I'm putting I'm putting these uh in an inch two two and a half inches in on each side and then I'm going a spread in between each one uh two inch. I end up getting a total it's gonna be a, a total of thirteen sticks counting my rake. My pool rake. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm figuring out because I thought I was going to make it wider, but I come out to be. I just made them two inches. Two inches in between. And that's what the bottom of the 2x4 that you're going to see later on here. Each hole in, in between the holes. In the middle of each hole, one hole to another is two inches. And I come out to have. I uh, use. Uh, It's just rough guess. Uh, I was going to make it 4 inches, but it come out that I made it 6 inches. Gave a little more. And the first 2x4 I cut, I actually screw up because I cut it too short, which you'll see in a minute. Started getting warm, so I took took my uh, jet off because I had the heaters on. I had to turn them down. The first one come up too short, and I'll show you. I don't take any other stuff out of my videos. If I screw up, you're going to see it on my video. So I come out that it was too short. That uh, if I put my pull cue in it, it would have been too close to the edge of the 2x4, which could split it. As you can see right here, I'm showing you. You'll see it a little better. But it gave me like a half inch at Probably about a quarter of an inch on each side, but I'm gonna show you again here. I'm putting it up. I'm putting it up on the dot. I'm trying to get closer to show you and see. It. There ain't much. It might be a half inch or something. I want a little more. So when I take my uh, bit down through it, it's gonna make it wider. Which this board right here is only two inches longer. But it makes a big difference. Put it on there. Bam. Now i got about an inch and a half on each side. Which is going to work out perfectly. Then i got to get a bit. It's not a drill bit. It's a auger bit. You can see... Uh, um, behind me a TV playing 
That's actually playing Comcast TV right there. It's the bits. Comcast TV. So uh, if you got a smart TV, you don't need one of their boxes. You can download an app. So that means if you go away, you can take the Comcast with you. Like say, see right there. Some people would have took stuff like that out of the video. I knocked them over by accident. I'm showing you that uh, I'm a real person. I mean, I'm not sitting there and chopping the stuff out of the videos just to make the video look better. If I mess up, you're going to know it. And if you look on to the left of the video here, left below it, you can see where that's a 2x4 hanging up there too. It's holding that triangle, my rack. Right there is a bit that's big enough. The other one was actually too small. So I, I got another one and I, it was an inch and a half that I had. And that one works out to be perfect. So I'm going to, I'm going with the inch and a half. Don't exactly remember what I'm doing here, but I mu must be getting a drill or something. Getting something ready. Oh, I went over to Mark. That's what it was. I went over to Mark to all the spacing on where the... Uh, I needed to uh, put my uh, holes. Well, they're not actually holes. They're uh, divots. You, you can call it a divot. A little, it's a little hole, but it don't go all the way through. I'm just using a standard uh, cordless drill to start the first one, just to show you. Nothing special. I ended up uh, using uh, my drill press, because then I could set that up where it could go down so far. But you'll see in a minute, uh, actually, after I get it set to the depth that I want, I come out, there was a half inch deep, I made them. And I put a piece of tape on a bit so I wouldn't get past the tape. I could tell where it stopped. But I just went ahead and set the drill press up. Cheat a little. Drill press put a stop on it and went through them real quick. Drill press worked a lot faster than this drill anyway. I mean that drill press. It, that drill was nothing. That drill press took and did it like nothing in the... Uh, the drill was having a little issues, but that drill press, it, it took them, made the holes like nothing. Like they wasn't even, it wasn't even, it wasn't even bulger or nothing. I'm going to do a test here, just see how deep it is. I'm going to show you, it's not very deep. It's about 7 16 there, and uh, see the ends kind of screwed up. I'm gonna, I'll fix all that in a minute. It's just a, just to hold the pull, pull cues. You don't have to be anything perfect. Then I don't got to lean. They ain't leaning on the wall anymore. Here I am measuring. And it was a little shallow. So I'm, I'm making it a little deeper. I come out. I made them a half inch deep. Measuring, I think it actually came out when I first measured it. It was a just a hair, I mean, a smidgen over a, a half inch. But I may and I'll make them all half inch. You'll see me getting a piece of tape here. I'm putting it on the bit because I was figuring I was going to do it real quick with the drill, just going through it. And that plan didn't work out, guys. That auger bit 
or right here it it works good if you got the right equipment but that little little drill it's three eighths drill it was the battery wasn't wasn't all the way charged for one I had to charge battery but uh it it just wasn't doing the job like I wanted it and then I had to watch every time I did it and did it and so I just set the uh, drill press up and I knocked them out in like two minutes. All of them. Went right down through them. It would have took me a good 20 minutes to do it the other way or more. And uh, I'm going to show you the drill press in a minute. It's a skill. I got it from uh, Lowe's. Well, I worked at Lowe's. 132 bucks or something I paid for. 139 I don't know. I think I got it for 132 because uh, when you work at Lowe's, you get 10% discount. So I got that all done, and uh, I'm getting ready. I'm going to sand this here soon. And by sanding, I'm going to actually use uh, my grinder, my cordless grinder. It's got a, tr a hand trigger. It does an on and off switch. A lot of them have one off switch, but this one's got a hand trigger, and you can see it fits there good. And I'm going to use a flap disc. Uh, you'll see in a second. I'm going to get one to show you guys. It's a four and a half inch flap disc with a three quarter inch hole or five eighths hole. It's for the bigger uh, grinders. I'm saying here where I'm setting it up and where I'm going to put them in all. You'll see that in a minute. There's the flap disc. I get them from Harbor Freight for a couple of dollars. They're well worth the buy. I, I mean, I'll, I'll use that flap disc to it so it'll hardly anything left. And you can use them for grinding, uh, finishing metal. They'll... They will sand most anything. Now, I, I've hit concrete, and it, it takes, it unmarked concrete. Because it's just like a big piece of sandpaper. But they're glued on this little disc. I don't know how, how they actually make them, but they work very well. I get most of all my stuff from uh, Harbor Freight. My actual... Red toolbox that you guys see hard right. right here. What I did is uh, drilled some holes, went on the backside, stuck the three inch screw, like a number two three inch screw, all the way through most, not sticking all the way up. And then I drilled the back of uh, my the bottom of my holder, made the holes a little bigger than a three inch screw, so it's set on there like a pin. Then I took that piece of board and taped it on there. So I went back there and took my uh, impact and gently went in there to it started grabbing. When it grabbed, then I worked my way from one side to the other and tightened it up. Now if I would have had two people, the one person could have held it in the front and I could have just went ahead and did it. But since I did it the other way, that's the way it worked. And it was pretty strong there. I could probably stand on one too, but... I wasn't taking no chances. I mean, it's just whole pull cues, so. I'm getting ready to uh, start the measurements just to see where it's lining up with the lines up there. It's going to look like it's a little crooked, but it's not, guys. My first attempt at putting uh, the pull cue holders doesn't work. You'll see, I only put one on, but you'll, I'll show you in a second and uh, tell you what's going on. Because I put one in, and it doesn't work. It holds it. If you use it to hold a rake or something like that, you'd be fine. But the issue is, you'll see in a minute.
These screws right here I actually got from uh, Walmart. They're alright for what I'm doing with them. They're just cheap screws, uh, like 12 to a pack for a dollar. Just got to be careful. You don't want to use these type of screws to actually hold anything because it is a cheap screw. But well, what I'm doing with it, it's going to be fine. Actually started with the impact, but the impact, uh, the number two bit that was in it didn't go far back enough to actually tighten it up. So I'll, I put it up there and then I change it out and get the drill because the drill sinks it in there far enough. I'm lining it up, make sure it looks decent. I don't want all up there looking all crooked and everything else. I want it to look half decent if someone sees it. Which you guys are seeing it. Now actually going under under the line that I think I'm going under the line that's up there. And I actually uh changed when uh I changed it because originally it was gonna be above a little bit, but you can see me pushing there, but it don't go all the way in. It actually stops it. It hits. So I take the bit out and put it in the drill, and the drill takes care of it. Because I can stick it in the drill and put it near the end of the chuck, and it gives me another, close to another inch. There it is, tight. Now I'm going to take the pool stick and put it on there. And I'll explain what I'm what the problem is here. I'll put it in there and snap it in. And it looks like it's crooked, but it is actually straight. It's the camera's a, the uh, it's an optical illusion. It's pushing it's grabbing the middle of the stick, but it's pushing the top of the stick against the board itself. And if you leave it like that after a while it's gonna bow the stick. Because it's putting pressure on the tip. So what I'm going to do is get a scrap piece of board, but cross there, and then take that back out. I'll make my scrap piece of board, uh, wood like 28 inches, 29 inches long by 2 inches high, and it's like a quarter inch. I only bring it out this barely, because I had a scrap piece of board I used, which you'll see in a second. In a second, you'll actually hear me talking in about... Roughly close to two minutes, I figure out the mic, I forgot to turn it on, and I start talking. You see it here, I got my piece of wood on there. I'm going to start snapping them in. I'm checking it to make sure everything's good. And it, plenty of room. It ain't pushing on the end of this, the cue sticks anymore. And I told you, like I said, I get 12 sticks up here. That's plenty. You ain't going to have 12 people playing a uh, pool at one time, not on one table. If you do, I mean, 12 people in that garage is going to be a lot of people in my little garage. And I'm talking right there. I actually got to take one off. I bought one too many on. I thought I needed another one. So I take that out and I can trim that board. I can trim that board a little bit and it'd be alright. But right now I just left it alone. We got five up there. We only got a couple more to go. We got eight more sticks that can go in there, guys. Six on each side. And before my other piece that I got from the yard sale, it only held six. And then it held the cue balls and stuff like that's supposed to. But the cue balls stay in the pool table, so. In less than a minute, you should hear me talking. This is a deer stick. I got to still fix it. it. Trying to fix it. Uh, 
The threads are something mixed up. It's got a buck or something on it. It's just cheap stick. Needs work. I just stick her back up there and I'll fix it later. You can see it ain't all the way shut. Or it ain't all the way together. I was wrong about the minute. I thought it was. It should be any time now. I'm grabbing sticks. That's what it is. Let's see. I'll, I think I can stick one more in there. I noticed that I'm talking. Uh, I think about it. I didn't turn the mic on. And I'm going to cut that piece off. That's the piece I was talking about. Okay, okay yeah. you're hearing me now. I know that. But I had the mic off like a doofus. Like I did before. So, beginning of this movie, it's just going to be me talking over it. But it's all done. I just got to trim that little bit right there. But... It's holding the pool sticks, that's what, what it's meant to do. They're all in there. Nothing fancy, just sell scrap wood. I still got one more spot here for a pool stick and... I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if we got any more straight ones or not. check them in a minute but anyway if you like this video please give me a thumbs up then thumbs down at least you watch one please subscribe and bye to later